Yeah, well. Beautiful. So, can you tell us um, what happened here tonight? Yeah, look, basically, Amy, we had a, uh, we responded to a structure fire. Upon arrival at the scene, we found a single-storey house fully involved. Um, initially, there was the chance that the occupant was missing. However, fortunately, we found him uh, for five or ten minutes. Um, cause of the fire, still unknown, but thought possibly to be from the open fire, a spark from the open fire. And was there much you could do, or was the house just completely up in flames? Yeah, unfortunately, in this case, it was fully involved. Um, there wasn't a great deal we could do apart from protect the exposures and obviously a uh, quick search for the uh, resident. Uh, at that stage, we just need to get a lot of resources up here, which as you can see, there's a lot around, and just to do what we can to suppress it. And, and the owner? Yeah, look, obviously very distressed, but at the end of the day, it's a good result. He's safe and sound, um, and he's now been taken away to be assessed by the ambulance. And he, how did he, was he asleep or did he? Yeah, the indication is that he was asleep um, and was woken by the fire. Uh, it's yet to be determined or confirmed, but we think that's what's happened and uh, how we came about finding it. Did he have working smoke alarms or not sure? Uh, look, not, not sure at this stage due to the severity of the fire. We haven't been able to get in there and have a look. And anything left or...? Uh, look, we, we intend on salvaging what we can. The, the fire was quite severe. Uh, I don't expect to be a lot to be saved. And the cause at this stage? Yeah, as I said, it looks like a spark from the open fire, but we'll get, um, once we can get in there, uh, if it's safe to do so, we'll have a closer look then. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.